How powerful is Drake in the city of Toronto? Well, on Grammy night, Toronto's favorite son, Aubrey Graham, better known as Drake, Drizzy and the Six God, took home a Grammy Award for Best Rap Song. And afterwards, during an interview with Entertainment Tonight Canada, Drake made an off-the-cuff remark about the mayor turning the CN Tower gold. Actually, his exact quote was, the mayor of Toronto needs to turn the CN Tower gold tomorrow. Chrome and gold. Are you stupid? Are you dumb? So what happened on Monday? Well, I guess the mayor of Toronto isn't dumb because not only did the CN Tower turn gold, but the iconic Toronto sign was also turned gold in honor of Drake's Grammy and the six other Canadians who also won Grammy Awards that night. The CN Tower, which is on the cover of Drake's album, Views, put out a tweet saying, Tonight, we're going gold to celebrate the outstanding artists whose work makes Canada shine so brightly on the world stage. Congratulations to the nominees and the winners of the 2019 Grammys. But let's get real. They had no intention of doing that until Drake put out the message. Along with Drake taking home the Grammy for Best Rap Song, the other Canadians who won the Grammys were um, music producer Greg Wells for Soundtrack, The Greatest Showman, um, R&B singer Danielle C Cesar for best R&B performance for the song Best Part. Another one is Willow Peron for best recording package. Uh, singer St. Vincent's album. Uh, violinist Lily Hayden for best new age album. She sings in a quartet, Opium, Opium Moon, self-titled album. Another one is James Aness. Violin Concerto, the album is Kernis, and then Aaron J. Kernis for Contemporary Classical Composition. So congratulations to Drake and all the other Canadian winners.